Hello, it's time for another day of laying dominoes. Let's start with the easy and we'll uh, place some pips. All right, what do we have today? We have a zero that must poke up out of the zero, so that goes there. Um, we have equals, which looks like they must be fives. So, um, oh no, they could be, no, they must be five. No, they're, no, they're gonna be threes. Sorry, they're gonna be threes because we'll have uh, one go into the nine. No, no, they're fives, sorry. What am I doing? It goes this way. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, I just brain short circuiting there. Let's try the medium. Okay, so we have a zero. Oh, right, that's interesting. We have a double zero, so it goes in one of those two directions. We don't know which yet. And a six, which we only have ones of, so actually it must go this way, otherwise it'll interfere with the three, which means the double zero goes that way, so that's fine. So uh, now we have a five that points up into a double equivalence region. So that could be a four that goes in there. It could be a two as well. Um, let's see. Um, if it were a five and then a four going under the six, we'd need to make, uh, sorry, if it were a five and then a four whose two points into the six, we'd have to make four more from the six, which we could get a two in there, five in there, three. I think that works actually. Let's try that. Um, so then we'd have a three who's, we would need a two going down and then a two pointing it. Yeah, this, this does work as I suspected. Uh, well, I didn't really suspect that. I kind of just thought it through in my brain and it did work. So I think, there we go. Okay, there, I don't know, there might have been another way to do that, but the first one that occurred to me, I, I sort of thought through it and, it and it seemed to work, so I didn't bother thinking about the other possibility, um, especially on the medium. So let's go on to the hard and see how this one works today. Whoa. All right, so we've got a tall grid here. Okay, what do we have? We have four, no, five zeros, um, but we have six zero halves. So they're not completely, this is interesting. These are mainly in equivalence regions. That's very, this is a very odd one. This feels like this might end up being tricky. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess it's meant to be. I guess the really tricky one is this five sized equivalent equivalence region. So we'll need five different quantities. And actually what's interesting is that we don't have a six anywhere, which means we have exactly five distinct domino halves. We have a zero, a one, a two, a three, and a four. Because we don't have a five either, actually. So yeah, we, we have exactly five possibilities. So we'll need to ensure that we use all of them in this. That is intriguing. I, I'm, I'm inclined to just sort of try putting some things in. Pre-solving this feels kind of irritating to me, to be totally honest. So I might just try some things and see how it goes. I mean, we'll need a different one immediately. Sorry, what, what I mean is we'll need a domino with two halves that are different because, and do we need, do we have two of those? We do tech, no. We don't have two different ones. That's good to know, actually. Here's one thing we can figure out. We we can't have two different dominoes fully contained in this horizontal part of the inequivalence region because we don't have two different dominoes that between them have four different halves on them, uh, if that makes sense. Oh, maybe... Oh, you know what? We would, actually, if I didn't... If I hadn't already used a zero pointing up. We could do it if I hadn't already have used up a zero. Okay, well, I'm not really sure how to think this through, to be totally honest with you. It does feel like maybe just trying some things is the way to go. So maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just do that and see how it goes. Uh, that's not really how I like to play this game usually, but um, so this would need to be a one. I don't know. Oops. Yeah, this doesn't feel very satisfying, I have to say. 
but uh, yeah, I mean, I think this is this will work. Yeah, there are probably quite a few different ways to do that. I I, I don't the the puzzles where there are many ways to do them. I think I find them the least satisfying because it's fairly difficult to logically puzzle your way through them. If there if there are many different possibilities, in some cases it's kind of arbitrary what choice you make, which it sort of felt like there was today. I don't know. Not really sure. Uh, let me know. Let me know if I missed some obvious logical sort of solution to this. But there we have it. Uh, those were the pips. All right. Back tomorrow. Bye for now.